So I am a terrible packer. <laughs> Just terrible. And packing for a long trip? Oh, oh my god. I mean, how do you fit home into a bag? Well, I just came back from a long-ish trip and here are some of the things that I learned. I've never been a big traveller. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it. I must say though, I really love travelling when it's for work because you're usually set up alright, someone's around to point you in the right directions. Things that we don't even think about back home. Where to get internet, Groceries, places to eat, the pharmacy, places to hang out, places you shouldn't. <laughs> and yeah, there's Google, but it's always nice to hear it from another person, right? Lessons on how to be a good host from my overseas friends. It made me remember the time we had this student from a different country in class. So her English wasn't great, and it took her a while to catch up. And because the class was really small, we kind of needed each other to progress. Um, she was nice, right? But I wasn't. Like, I really, really wasn't. I was so impatient, and I don't think I made her feel welcome at all. I was kind of like, like immigration. Oh, I remember the first time I encountered less than friendly immigration. I was stunned. It was really weird, you know, suddenly becoming the outsider. What are you doing here? How long are you here for? Why are you here? Who are you staying with? And it really wasn't the questions, but the tone. It was like they really didn't want me there. Why not? I'm really nice. I remember the weirdest one though. I was standing outside this party. I was waiting for a friend to come. And I realised that I knew absolutely nobody. And for the first time, I didn't dare walk into the party alone? I know this sounds really dramatic, right? But I was thinking, I don't know anybody here. We speak the same language, sure, but culturally we're kind of different. And there really isn't that sense of um, familiarity. Then, I thought about all these people who pack up their lives and go to a foreign land with much less resources than I have to set up home where well, not just the culture is different, but they speak a completely different language. The people are as foreign as the signs, and the food reminds them of, well, nothing. The ATM is the promise of money, but the words are information from a different world. So I met this guy. He was a foreign worker, and he was checking to see if his pay for the month had come in, but he couldn't figure out the ATM, so he asked me to help. I told him, um, there's $600 in there, is that correct? Yeah, he said, thank you. Where all the home they have is what they managed to pack in their bag. I wasn't away for long, but I think long enough to realise there's just nothing like being the outsider to make you want to be a better insider. Bon voyage. <laughs>